Hey everybody, we are teaching Tilt Brush, and this particular time we're actually going to take a model, export it from Tilt Brush, and bring it into Blender. So you can see, then you can manipulate it, and then bring it back into Tilt Brush as an individual model. So here's what we're going to do. Stage one, Build a beautiful sketch. You can use whatever shaders, I mean, whatever brushes, whatever styles you want. This will all be saved in the tilt file. Now, PlayStation users don't have an easy way to export like the Qu uh, Quest and PC users do. Quest, especially if you link to a PC, that simplifies the whole process. I'm going to assume if you're using Blender, you do have a PC to be doing this on. So I'm doing this from the PC perspective. And I'm just going to do a straight export. Built into Tilt Brush, if we go into not upload, but if we look at the more options and the labs, here is where we have an option to actually export these files. So I've got this beautiful sketch made. I saved it to my sketchbook so I don't have to worry about losing anything. Now I'm going to use the lab options to export. This will automatically make the files and folders necessary. Since I'm on a PC, I've got a Tilt Brush folder in my documents. That's where it's putting everything. There's actually an exports folder in there. So now that I've exported it, we're going to switch over to Blender. And in Blender is where we're going to import it from the folder, show it in Blender, and then export it. And then we'll come back here into Tilt Brush and bring that altered saved model back into the sketch. So all I've needed to do from here is that export command. Now, let's go over to Blender. Okay, so here we are in Blender with all of our wonderful Blender tools and things. Now, please bear in mind, this is not teaching Blender. So we're not going to get into using the textures and shaders and stuff like that. We'll leave that to a Blender class. But to just load in the model, I'm going to go to File and Import. And here's where we're going to bring in what we're looking for. Now we saw how uh, Tilt Brush will export as an FBX. So I'm just going to import an FBX and I'm going to go right to my Tilt Brush folder and look in its exports. And here indeed is all of the exports themselves. I'm just going to dive right into that FBX and load it in. And here is the sketch, just as you would expect. And now we can grab things, we can rig things, we can redo textures and shaders, do all of your Blender tricks. I'm not going to do any of them. Instead, we're going to assume that those magically happen during your time at home, and we're just going to look at how we're going to export this so that we can bring it back into Tilt Brush. So I'm just going to go back to File. I do recommend saving this. That way, if something goes wrong or if you want to make changes, you don't have to go uh, from scratch. So save this as a Blender file. But for Tilt Brush, we're going to export. Now, Tilt Brush can export the OBJ. And in fact, a lot of other things can import OBJs as well. So if you're going to plan on using Unity or any of the other 3D uh, modeling and programs, uh, modeling, animating, uh, level design, that type of stuff, this is a standard format, OBJ. I'm actually going to put it in our Tilting at Brushes folder so we can find it again later. And you'll notice it's going to save it and any texture files and anything else that needs to go with it at the same time. And it saves that. So now I'm going to bring up that folder, Tilting at Brushes, and you can see how it's got the OBJ. I did a couple of other exports as well, just so you can see how they all show up. But these are the two I'm going to want to import. So I'm going to open up, grab these guys, copy these guys, and go into the actual main Tilt Brush folder, Media Library. I want it to be able to import the model. Now it's important that you do make a folder and give it the same name so that when you paste it in, it's going to be consistent on all the file names and that's how it's going to show up. So ideally, if this was a proper design I was working on, I would give it a proper name so everything is consistent. 
But now we can jump back into Tilt Brush. Now that it's in my Tilt Brush Media Library, I can bring it in as a single model instead of a whole sketch. So let's jump back to Tilt Brush. And we're back from Blender. So now we've made that, we've saved it, and we put a copy in our folder for Tilt Brush. Documents, Tilt Brush, import. Uh, I'm sorry, media library. In the media library is where we pull everything out. So I'm going to go back into my labs, back into my media library this time. Instead of export, I'm going to media library. And here is a list of all the models in my export library. And here, untitled, is the model in question. Now the first time you do it, the first click actually loads the model into the system and it will change its picture to look like what that model looks like. So if I do Castle Banzai, it'll first load the model and now it looks like Castle Banzai. So when I export this guy, I'm now going to go to Untitled and import him. The second click brings it in. And here, let's get you out of the way now, here is the model. Let's make it bigger so we can see Here's the model imported back into Tilt Brush. And as you can see, it is indeed the same model. It has the same items. Now, in Blender is where you would activate the shaders for it to be transparent and animated and that kind of thing. But as you can see, it is now the whole sketch as one piece that I can duplicate and pin into place and treat as a model. It even has my subscribe message, part of the model itself. Now, this does take less memory than the whole original sketch. So converting it and bringing it back in might be some way to improve performance a little bit. But here's a case where now it's a model. So now I've got one over here and we'll put another one over here, except we've got to make it big again. Here's a second one. So these are now pieces we can bring in and manipulate as objects. So it's just a matter of save the sketch, export, bring it into Blender, and off you go. So hopefully this was a good step-by-step -step demonstration of what you're going to go through without having to worry about the actual Blender side of things. We'll do that as a whole other series. But that's importing and exporting and how it works within the system itself. I'm going to bring my usual ending message up here. I hope this was helpful. We do this all the time here at youtube.com slash shamelessmayhem. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if there are other lessons you'd like us to do. But this one was all about a step-by-step -step demonstration of exporting to Blender and bringing back into Tilt Brush. I hope this was informative. See you guys next time. Have fun.